Above 155 miles an hour, they stop trying to classify hurricanes. 155 miles an hour is a Category 5, the kind that killed 12,000 burly Texans in 1900. There is no Category 6, because if there was, there'd be nobody left to classify it once it had passed. The Bugatti Veyron will pass through the air at 252 miles an hour, so you have some idea of the forces of nature at work here and the reasons why it needs to haul that vast aeroplane wing into the airstream to keep it stable. It's also why it needs 16 cylinders, 8 litres, 4 turbochargers, 10 radiators and 1,000 horsepower. Everything about this car is Category 6. Except, that is, the skill level required to drive it. Your mother could. A flappy paddle gearbox developed by people who developed Formula One gearboxes and a four-wheel drive system developed with some considerable amount of head scratching by rocket scientists means you just get in and drive. And you won't drive anything faster. Anything. Like Concorde and the Saturn V, the Veyron is the furthest its particular engineering avenue will be explored. The men who engineered it are probably working now on hydrogen propulsion. There is no longer a place in the world for a car that will, with a twist of the special extra key required to dial in that hurricane-beating top speed, consume a set of 10,000-pound tires in just 300 miles. And that makes me sad. Big power makes big heat. Cooling the Veyron takes 10 times the number of radiators found in a standard compact car. Fitting, since the turbocharged W16 engine makes nearly 10 times the horsepower too. No one ever said breaking records was cheap. Bugatti recommends changing the Veyron's specially formulated tires every 2,500 miles. Four new tires carry a price tag of $38,216. At top speed, the 16-cylinder beating heart of the Veyron can suck its 26-gallon fuel tank dry in 12 minutes flat. That's enough time to cover 50 miles. Automatic spoilers, wings and diffusers keep the Veyron pinned to the ground at high speed. Slow down in a hurry, and the rear wing acts as an air brake, like the parachute on a top fuel dragster. Bugatti gives Veyron buyers a special key that unlocks the car's true potential. With a twist of the wrist, the Veyron optimizes its aerodynamics and ride height for the push to its top speed of 253 miles per hour. 